Yeah, I guess there's good data in the long run. We have uh, one third of the patients who are surviving five years when they are treated with BRAF and MEK inhibitors in combination. And the tolerability is quite reasonable good. So I believe it's a good choice. But on the other hand, we have immunotherapy and particularly ipilimumab, nivolumab, which showed very nice results in the combo setting. So for stage four, we have uh, the opportunity to give uh, BRAF and MEK inhibitors or, you know, single agent anti-PD-1 or ipilimumab, nivolumab. And it appears at the moment that the immunotherapy in the long run is a bit stronger. Yeah, I guess the adjuvant setting is totally different from stage four because uh, for some surprisingly, you know, the combination of dabrofenib and trametinib showed simply excellent data. The five-year survival data for disease-free, distant metastasis-free and overall survival are outstandingly good. It points out to a 50% improvement in all outcome parameters. So we can cure patients and we have developed the cure rate model and use the cure rate model for this so-called uh, combi AD study, which is standing for adjuvant. And it showed that we can cure roughly 17, one seven, 17% 17 of the patients with an adjuvant treatment with dobrofenib and trametinib. And the tolerability is quite reasonable good in the adjuvant setting and the number of treatment discontinuations, which was rather high in co uh, combi AD study, can be decreased if we adapt the pyrexia management. So I believe it's a very good choice. And the only clinical data where we have clearly an overall survival improvement in the adjuvant setting at this point of time. Yeah, I guess uh, there is several solutions. Uh, for one is the question of combining more than two drugs, which is BRAF and MEK inhibitors, with some sort of uh, immune checkpoint inhibitor. There was two clinical uh, trials with inconclusive data so far on the triplets, but another one starts very soon. And it's it, again combining a BRAF and MEK inhibitor with a PD-1 antibody. So we need to wait for these results. But on the other hand, the uh, other idea is to give the drug sequentially. And I guess it's an interesting scheme to give drugs sequentially if we have no new drugs available. The other option is to combine it with some sort of you know, cell-directed therapies, like for instance, adoptive T-cell transfer, which has not been done so far, or with you know, uh, inhibitors of molecules which might also interfere with melanoma progression. And uh, this is a third type of uh, uh, targeted therapy, for instance, of the so-called PI, uh, PI3 kinase pathway. That would be also another opportunity. So there is ideas, but it will not be easy because the hurdle right now is very high. We have already a five-year survival and 6.5-year survival of roughly 50%. So I guess it will be the fine-tuning in the future to select the right patients to the right treatment.